All right, guys, Flay from Boxing Evolution TV, and I'm just here with Ryan Barrett after his win Ooh. over Jabas Shalatashvili. I think that's his name anyway. You do it better than me. <laughs> <laughs> so that was a, a tough fight, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a tough boy. Um, we knew that coming into the fight. Um, I think he had won uh, four, uh, no, five of his last six uh, with four KOs. Uh, I didn't want to come back with anything too easy. Um, trying to get right up there with the, uh, the big boys in this division um, and trying to make... Um, make my name with the, uh, with, the, with the top 10 in this division and that's why I switched across to Mickey Elliott as a manager as well. Okay, well I mean that fight, I mean it was a six rounder, uh, it, but it, start, it started off quite calm, it started off quite, you know, both of you filling each other out, but those last two rounds he was just really going for it with some wild swings, wasn't he? Uh, he was and I, um, I knew that, I said I expected it to be a little bit the other way because predominantly I'm a slow starter, I've been stopped, uh, if I've ever been stopped it's always early in the, in the fight, like one, two, three. Um, so I, I had a feeling he was going to come and start very fast, uh, but he's he, he done the opposite and went hard at the end. Um, but yeah, it's good six rounds. I mean, it seemed that those wild swings were, if anything, were his kind of downfall. You were moving out of the way, pivoting, using your hooks as, as he came in, that kind of stuff. Yeah, I could kind of see him um, coming a little bit, um, but at the same time, I weren't getting my own shots off uh, quick enough on the way when he was on his way in. Um, but that's a little bit of inactive sparring. Um, not a lot of people want to spar a six foot, six foot southpaw, so uh, I find it very hard to get rounds. Yeah. I mean, how did you feel at the end of that fight? Did you think you got the win? Or oh yeah, I knew I knew I'd won. Um, I, I said to my, my dad at the end of uh, round five, "Can I afford to lose the last round?" And he said, "Oh yeah, you've won every round." So it was like, well, we're just going to jab and run and uh, get to the end of the fight with uh, obviously the bad eye. So I thought I'd uh, just try and get through the rounds and uh, and, f and finish with the win. Well, you, did, you got the win, he did well, you got what you wanted. Um, so it's your 44th pro fight tonight. Um, where, where, where are you going now? Well, as I say, as me, uh, I signed with Mickey Elliott um, and he's promised me some big fights. We tried to squeeze in on the prize fighter. Uh, I would definitely have won the prize fighter. I've got no fears of that. So any one of them in that prize fighter, if you want an 8, 10, 12 round championship fight, call Mickey Elliott up and we'll get it on. Okay, well, Johnny Cole, I think that's mainly a message to you since you won it. But I'd quite like to see you against Eggington as well, yeah, actually. Do you know what? I don't want to fight Johnny Cole. He's very new into the game. He's, he's on a lot of money. Enjoy his career. I want to fight someone uh, very meaningful. Bradley Skeet, Chad Gaynor, you know, it's any of these big guys. Junior Witter, you know, you keep looking at and fighting these guys, nine, ten bouts. Fight someone else up there who's very experienced. Uh, what about Yassin El Marchi? He's in the, in the weight category. Uh, Yassin El Marchi, if Steve Goodwin wants to ring up and give me good money, come on, let's get it on. Okay, because he's one of my favourite fighters actually in the weight category as well, and he's also a southpaw, so I think that definitely make for an interesting you know, fight. Do you know what I would say is out of, uh, I think Yassin El Manchi is probably the best welterweight in the division, in all fairness to him. I think if he, if he was a British citizen, he'd be British champion. If he could hold a Commonwealth title, he'd be Commonwealth champion. And if he could fight for the European title, again, I think he'd be European champion. So, as I say, he's the tallest order out of a lot of them. And if they want to pay me good money, come on, we'll get it on. Well, he's got his British title, uh, British passport now, so you, oh, you never know, you never know. I'll, pa I'll pass a message to Steve for you. Um, so, basically, for anyone that's following your career and that kind of stuff, uh, where can they find you on Twitter? And also, tell me a bit about your gym, it's your own gym too. Yeah, I, uh, I started a new gym, uh, R&B uh, uh, Boxing uh, Club in Bexley Village. Um, so I run private lessons there. I teach boxing um, uh, seven days a week. Um, and, you know, it's in Bexley Village and... You know, everyone's welcome. Okay, and do you have a Twitter or a website or anything yeah, like that? Twitter I've got is uh, Ryan666Barrett. Um, you can uh, follow me on Twitter um, and, and Facebook. And tell me about the 666. Uh, well, as I say, a bit of a uh, devil worshipper. <laughs> and, um, you know, I've got uh, the, 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 the Satan uh, symbol on my arm. Uh, I always have the 666. And, um, yeah. Are you part of the Illuminati and the Freemasons? Uh, no. <laughs> okay guys, well this is Ryan Barrett, great win tonight, uh, Flay from Boxing Evolution TV, over and out.